What's good fam? Welcome back to the channel. JD here with yet another video for you guys. It is almost the summertime. We've been sitting at home locked up for almost a year now, but let's get excited once again because things are starting to open up. And a lot of you guys might be thinking, now might be the time to get myself a brand new pair of ones. We've had a lot of nice colorways released over the last year, but two of the absolute best have to be the University Blues as well as the Hyper Royals. I just posted my full review of this video and a lot of you guys were asking me, not just in the comments, also on my Instagram, if I were to pick one, would I choose the Hyper Royals or the University Blues? I know that question is in a lot of people's minds, so that's what I want to help you guys answer in this video. I will be going over all of the pros and cons of both of these sneakers and ultimately give you my decision. I had to spend some time thinking about it which one I would choose among the two of these. Most of you guys are gonna wanna buy one of these pairs and don't necessarily need both. And they are both pretty similarly priced right now. So really we need to know which one is better, the University Blues or the Hyper Royals. That's what we're gonna answer in this video. Before we do that though, make sure you guys hit that notification bell, subscribe, and of course like this video. It really helps out the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start off first by talking about colorways. We'll start off with the University Blue absolutely gorgeous color blocking here we have that classic chicago style color blocking this sneaker is pretty much the chicago ones except instead of red you got this unc blue it's a very classic looking colorway it almost looks like something that should have been an og colorway most fans of jordan brand would agree that the chicago style color blocking is by far the best type of color blocking you can put on a jordan one and to throw that unc blue on it you know there was no way jordan brand would miss with the shoe this is just a a great pair of sneakers perhaps the only complaint I have with the shoe when it comes to the colorway is the outsole so you can see that there is a different a slightly different shade of blue on the outsole here it doesn't necessarily match exactly with the upper and in a video like this when I'm really trying to get into the details of what makes one shoe better or worse than the other I have to talk about small differences like this you can noticeably see that there is definitely a difference between the outsole and the upper to a lot of people it's not not really a big deal but some people yeah this might be a problem getting into the hyper royal colorway they're officially calling this the hyper royal but in my opinion they should have called this the sky blue or the blue clouds or something like that because when i see the sneaker i definitely think of the sky jordan brand of course gave this sneaker that vintage treatment similar to the turbo greens that dropped a couple of years ago on this sneaker as well you have that chicago style color blocking however here you have the smoke gray contrasting with the blue this faded blue the white combined with the gray in my opinion this is perhaps one of the cleanest pairs of Jordan 1s we've seen in the last couple years. The Hypo Royals also has that added bit of detail which is the stitching. It is done in that dark Hyper Royal color and it contrasts pretty nicely with the rest of the shoe. I don't think it's too noticeable. And that whole vintage aesthetic in my opinion makes this shoe a lot more unique than the UNC ones. So if we're just talking about colorways definitely the University Blue ones much more of a classic looking Jordan 1 colorway. This one definitely wins when it comes to uniqueness. Let's now get into the quality once again starting off with the university blue ones the leather on this really really nice you have this nice super soft tumble leather and also the suede panels of the shoe are really nicely done we have this really nice soft suede feels really good when you press on the shoe if you guys have ever worn a pair of the rookie of the year ones it is pretty much identical in terms of leather quality the suede as well as the leather panels both exactly the same definitely a pretty good quality Jordan one the one negative about the quality on this pair is that I've noticed that some pairs, including my own pair, does have some glue stains near the toe box area. And I have seen some other people complain about glue stains on their pair as well. So there is a possibility that your pair might have some. So just something to watch out for. Moving on to the Hyper Royals, the quality, especially on the white leather panels, nowhere near as good as the University Blue ones. So when it comes to quality, an easy W for the University Blues. Also the suede panels of the shoe, much more of a nappier, rough feeling suede compared to the smooth suede of the University Blue ones. The gray sections of the shoe, including the swoosh and these ankle collars, that's pretty much the only parts of the shoe that I would say have pretty good quality materials. The rest of the shoe though leaves a little bit to be desired. So I would say when it comes to quality, definitely the University Blue ones takes it. The one thing I don't understand about either of these shoes though are the laces that they come with because 
University blue, for example, it comes with these black laces and you also get a pair of these UNC blue laces. However, if you've worn a pair of Chicago's before, you know that what the shoe really needed was some white laces. So that is what I ended up doing with my pair. I did throw on some white laces and in my opinion, it just is exactly what this sneaker needed and it looks a lot better. The Hyper Royals do come with these white laces, but they also come strangely with this weird pair of royal blue laces, which I really don't think is what this shoe needed. So what I did with my pair is I threw on these gray laces, which in my opinion match perfectly with the rest of the shoe. So white laces look the best on the university blues and i threw on the gray on the hyper royals and you can cop both of these laces from my shop which is elevate laces i will leave a link in the description the shop does ship worldwide so it doesn't matter where you live very very affordable shipping rates so make sure you guys check that out of course we got to talk about prices as well if you look at StockX right now it's actually kind of amazing how almost identical both the prices are for these pairs in fact, as soon as the Hyper Royals dropped, we noticed the prices dip quite a bit on the University Blues. I definitely think the release of the Hyper Royals is what caused the prices on the University Blues to dip. And that is the whole point of this video. You have two very similar looking shoes. They're very similarly priced. So you have to decide for yourself which is the one that you wanna go for. The fact that the prices are so similar to each other though, definitely doesn't make this decision any easier. One more thing I wanna talk about is versatility. Which one is more wearable? In my opinion, the UNC one I feel are a bit more wearable than the Hyper Royals simply because of that black. The black allows you to wear these shoes with darker clothes and they would still look fine. Because the Hyper Royals are such a light color shoe with the white, with the light gray, the light blue, in my opinion at least there's way too much of a contrast if you try wearing this with some dark clothes. Like if you try wearing black pants with this, it's just not gonna work. Just in my opinion, there isn't anything that you can wear with the Hyper Royals that you can't wear with the UNC Blues. However, I feel like there are some dark darker color outfits that you can wear with the UNC Blues, but you can't really wear too much with the Hyper Royals. But that's literally just my opinion. If you can figure out a way to wear dark clothes with this pair, then I'm sure you can do it. So final thoughts, what is my decision if I had to just pick one of these and only one, which one would I go for? And I have to say, I'm gonna go for the University Blue ones. For me, it really just comes down to the quality. The quality is just much nicer on this pair. And I think if you throw on the white laces on this pair, then both of these shoes become pretty replaceable to me. Any outfit you can wear with the Hyper Royals, if you throw on the white laces on these, then you can wear that outfit with this shoe as well. And also just my opinion, if you just love Jordan 1s and you love the classic look of it, you like those OG type of colorways, you gotta admit the University Blues is just much more of a classic looking Jordan 1. For me, the Hyper Royals are definitely a very nice to have colorway in the collection. Collection. however these are a must-have but that's just my opinion if you guys want to see a full detailed video of each of these sneakers I have dropped separate reviews for them I will leave a pinned comment to both of those videos and let me know down in the comments which is the sneaker that you want to go for the University blue ones or the hyper royal ones as always I love to know your opinion and thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe for more content it really helps out the channel and until next time guys peace